In today's video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite plays out of the strong close formation in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's YouTube video. Now if you're brand new to my YouTube channel and you don't know what I do on YouTube, basically what I do is I make Madden 21 tips and tricks every single day. We try to help you get better on the offensive side of the ball and the defensive side of the ball. It's the whole entire goal of the channel. And so if you have Madden questions that you need answered, you can always shoot me a text message. My phone number is in the top left hand corner of the screen. And I would also encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button. Research has shown me that 40% of the people that will watch this video are actually subscribed. But that means that 60% of you guys that would normally watch this video are not subscribed yet. So if you could subscribe, that would help me out a lot. And I believe it would also help you out a lot so you don't miss some of these videos. A lot of guys will send me questions, and I've actually already answered them in videos before. But because they're not subscribed or they haven't catched caught the videos then they've missed them so you can always text me questions i'm happy to answer them but i also want to encourage you to go ahead and click that subscribe button okay guys so i wanted to talk about two specific plays from strong close today the first one is fl drive and the reason i want to talk about these two specific plays is for the first route that you're going to see on both of them and then the second one is pa deep cross you see we have that right there and then obviously there's a lot of other really really good plays in this playbook but those are the plays that we're going to focus on for today okay and what we're going to do is we're just going to come out in the defense that i think you're going to see the most of if you run strong close i think you're going to see a ton a ton of this defense right here um i just do i i really think this is what people this is kind of the formula for strong close is that people want to run three three five wide now what i want to discuss with you today is one of the more popular coverages out of three three five wide which is a cover three mabel something like this right here and the beauty of these two plays if we just talk about this for just a second here is that fl drive you have a post route on the left skinny post route right pa deep cross you have the same post route but now it's on the right side of the field so there's something that you can do with that there's a lot that you can build around just those two specific routes and we're going to talk about a simple way to beat cover three now with fl drive all we're going to do is we're going to put mike evans on a post route we like to smart route those routes whenever we use them we're going to then put gronk on a corner route and then we're going to take godwin and we're going to put him on a slant route okay that's the literally all we're going to do and uh, what you're going to notice here is, and I'm going to give myself a little bit extra time just so I can show you the routes here. But what you're going to notice as this play progresses is if you watch the corners, the outside third, you see they're going to be taken that way. And then if we wait until he gets over him, you can actually hit that route against the cover three. Now, right there, we got intercepted. But what I want you to come back and see here is that, and we'll show it to you again. When they run an outside third on us, the corner on the left side or on the right side is going to get taken, is going to get sucked down with this with this corner route to the tight end. So then what that means is we just have to figure out something, some kind of formula for the deep middle zone. And there's a couple things we can try. If we have slot apprentice on this player right here, or if we have hot route master, we can try putting him on a crossing route. Um, and I'll just show you really quickly. If we put him on that cross route, you see there he moved him to the right. And then now if you have a good hard right pass lead, you can try to get that in. Now Jair Alexander is a beast and he's gonna come back on that sometimes, but most of the time that will work. Now I wanna show you another version of this um, another another version of this and we're going to move the ball to the right hash and the reason we're going to move the ball to the right hash is because it's less space for Jair Alexander to have to work with and so what that's going to mean practically for the play is it's actually going to help it out a little bit because what's going to happen here is you're going to notice that the tight end pull route will get down there a lot easier and then you should have a pretty good window to be able to hit this FL drive play. So we'll do the same exact thing, do our slant. And as you'll see right here, if you notice, he completely matched, whoops, whoops, I totally hit the wrong button. He completely matched the slant route, completely, like completely matched it. And this is actually very common, uh, especially if someone is using this specific 
play break down the specific strategy because in cover three the techniques of those zones are to sometimes match depending on what you do uh, and depending on the routes that you have on the field you could actually get those zones to match you see right there he's going to go all the way across the field now that we're on the short side of the field this thing torches cover three as you see right there so that is a little bit of a you know a little bit of a way that you can do that on the right hash so you have a cover three bomb on the right hash now you might be asking well what if they did uh this let me show you an, another popular setup out of this and that is to simply deep half both of your players you'll see here i've deep halved both of the outside corners and we're going to put that same setup on the field fl drive at the corner route the slant route snap the ball and what you'll notice here is this deep half does get back you see he does go all the way back and stop the, the skinny post route but that doesn't mean he stops the tight end route, and that doesn't mean that he he is able to take everything away. It just means he's able to take one thing away. So with FL Drive, once again, we put that corner route out there, and then we have a slant in beneath and underneath it. Now, if you motion the slant out, it also helps a little bit to kind of get some spacing here for this. But again, if you see this, if they don't deep half, I mean, it's a dot. I mean, it's a laser. The corner just is not even there on the on the short side of the field now if they deep half let me show you that one more time here you're gonna see you're gonna see some other stuff so if they deep half here got my corner out watch the corner on the right see that right there see that see that see how he goes back on it so they're really able to take a lot, lot away when they deep half but the thing about deep halving is it does give us other opportunities uh, to be able to do some things against the against the defense. For example, PA deep cross, um, and this is where this play comes in handy. Let's say that they're deep halving every single time, okay? Let's say that they're deep halving every single time. Well, let's do something like this. We're just going to run PA deep cross, and all we're going to do is we're going to take Chris Godwin, we're going to smart route him, and we're going to motion him to the left side. And what you'll notice on this motion is he's going to now get really, really good positioning to the outside, and he can practice. He can pretty much burn the deep half zones. Because of the close alignment and the strong close, this is going to really, really help the entire offense because this route right here to Godwin is super super effective but not only is it super super effective what you're going to notice here is you don't really need anything else you, you can run a two-man route here but if you take a look here this thing is going to get outside and over top of some of the better zones in the entire game the the, the cover three maybe with the invert so we'll show you this one more time and again brady if you have gunslinger you're going to pass the ball so much be uh, better brady has pass lead elite which is really nice um but it's not as good as um, it's not as good as gunslinger. Okay, so again, we'll get him out here, motion him. You want him to kind of be moving a little bit, but that's this is what I'm talking about right there. You click on there and you make that play. So that, that's another setup that you could use, and that's really really good against the cover two invert. And the way that you can kind of put it to put the pieces of the pot of the puzzle together, right, is let's say they run mike blitz on you well if you motion this guy on a slant you can do that there's nothing wrong with that you're going to see here you're still going to be able to hit uh different things over the over the right side you're going to be able to hit gronkowski you're going to be able to hit uh all of that stuff so you're able to be okay if they do that right it's that formula of if this then that so again smart route you got the slant on the field they're running some kind of max coverage defense. And we'll talk about blitzing in just a moment because a lot of people will blitz the crap out of strong close. And rightfully so. It's probably the best way to defend it, in my opinion. But what you'll notice here is, again, there's that pull, and then you're just getting over the top. Now, part of this is because Mike Evans is slow. Part of it is because Tom Brady is has a noodle arm. He can't get the ball down the field all the way. But 
this will, trust me, this will work against that defense. So strong close. Now, if you want to get the full scheme for the strong close, shoot me a text message. We're going to talk about it a little bit today. We're going to give you another setup in just a second, but shoot me a text. My number is 812-216-3644. I have the full strong close scheme available to you. Uh, we break down a lot of really, really good material in that as well. Um, I do, for those of you that don't know, I do free schemes every week in my text message membership. It's completely free for you to sign up. Literally, all you have to do is just text me. Now, uh, my number is in the top left-hand corner of your screen. But basically, we've done everything from Carolina, the Carolina Bunch, the U-Trips, the A slot offset, the split close, the big nickel over G, the um, um, nickel 355 wide, all kinds of things, right? So if you want to get that text message membership, shoot me a text message. My number is 812-216-3644. So just pull out your phone real quick. Say, hey, Cody, I'd like to join the membership. That'd be great. Or you could say something like, hey, Cody, I have a question in Madden, and, and I'll help you out with whatever I can as far as getting you guys coached up and getting you better on the sticks. So those are two things I wanted to let you know. If you haven't texted in, make sure you do that. You don't want to waste that opportunity because we do release very high level schemes every single week. Uh, a lot of what you see in the MCS, we release through our text membership. So any questions, you can always text me. Thanks for watching today's video. And if you want to catch tonight's live stream, we'll be live at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time right here on the channel. Thanks for watching, guys.